Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Taurians. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today, Taurus. Hope you all are having a great day today. But then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set. So Taurus, we're going to get right into it. It is a new moon. So happy, happy, happy new moon. That means new you, new day, new everything. Listen, people were thinking that January 1st, 2021 was the start of something, right? For some people it was, right? Because there's so much that happened for some, for so many people, there's so much that happened in 2020, especially with the pandemic and uh, losing the lives of so many people. A lot was going on, right? But for some people, because it was so devastating, they couldn't tell the difference between December 31st, 2020 and January 1st, 2021. It was like, I'm not celebrating New Year's Eve. I don't care about that because so many devastating things have happened, right? And then for some people on the other side of that coin, where things have been just going very well for them in 2020, businesses have been taking off whole nine yards. They didn't see the difference between 20, uh, uh, December 31st, aside from, hey, let me get my, you know, my, uh, <laughs> my donations and stuff in so I can write them off on my taxes. Aside from that, you know, for them, business was just continued to boom. Things were continuing to happen, right? So not too much of a difference, right? There were a small remnant of people who were just like, I just can't see the difference between the two. I mean, like somebody explain it to me. But so the new moon is that that brand new year. The new moon is the brand new year, the first new moon of this year. So not only that, we had um, Mercury is retrograde. So there's some, some static when it comes to communication and the whole nine yards information coming through. And we're going to talk a little bit about that too. Plus we're coming close to February 14th. I don't personally celebrate uh, Valentine's Day, but that's just me. <laughs> if you need one day just to get all your whatever out, then I mean like what kind of relationship is that? But then, okay, again, that's just me. That is just me. People should be doing very kind things for people throughout the year. So let's get into your reading, right? Let's get into your reading. Most high God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my talk as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have from our wonderful Torians? Yes, yes, yes. What information do we have? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Taurus. Let's see. 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 And we're going to be talking about the number 11. If I haven't already mentioned that, we're talking about the number 11. Not just because it's the 11th day, but just because when I wake up, hey, what number pops into my mind? And this master number 11 popped into my mind just like the last number was 99. So, yes, and I love numbers. So, and I like to share that information with you all. Let's put these cards down and see what the cards have to say. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh Y'all left all drama behind. I see. Yes. Anything that was just extra dramatic, you left it behind. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Listen. Okay. Now, I want you to say this. One, I am a Taurus. I am logical. I am generous and trustworthy. I am very determined. I'm understanding. I'm organized. I am patient, right? <laughs> I am patient. In order for a Taurus to leave this behind, like leave drama behind, you all have had to go through a whole bunch of stuff, right? But y'all dropped a whole bunch of drama off. See what these little light posts are? You were enlightened, enlightened, enlightened. Now it's just you, right? <laughs> it's just you, me, myself, and I, right? I'm not talking about the people that's in a relationship. Those people, there are parts of you that you dropped off. You could have dropped off some friends, some family members or whatever, but y'all know what I'm talking about, right? But at this point, this, this represents not baggage. It represents wisdom and knowledge, okay? You've learned a lot. Like I said, you are a Taurus. You're extremely patient, very logical, very reliable, patient, practical, devoted, responsible, stable, all those wonderful things, right? Yes, also, you will, when I say logical signs, um, um, you all have had to deal with some people who had a whole bunch of drama. When I say drama, I'm talking about like they ended up, these people were jealous of you. They had all kinds of internal conflict. They were trying to burn you, but every single time they tried to burn you, they ended up burning themselves, Taurus. Look at that. Yeah. But guess what? Everything that's done in the dark is exposed. <laughs> Everything that's done in the dark is exposed. Y'all had some friends around you who were just flat out freaking jealous. I'm just saying, just saying. 
Just saying. And guess how you found out? Brow chakra activated. See, okay. Taurus, because you all are very, very logical, it's like a, a boulder has to fall in order for you all to see. Oh, shoot. That was the message that was trying to come. That's you. That's Capricorn. That's Virgo, right? Because you all are very logical. If it doesn't make sense to you, then it just doesn't make sense, right? Everybody around you could be saying this person is jealous of you. They don't have your best interest at heart. You're like, okay, I need to see it for myself, okay? But now you're starting to really look, listen to your intuition. This is your third eye wide open yes that you have some people around you who are just flat out jealous look and now you're great you're feeling great about life ever since you walked away from that drama you're feeling so much better so much lighter right yeah you learned a lot on this long and arduous path look at this again you had light along the way you learned you picked up a lot of wisdom and knowledge remember i was saying here this is you but this is also you right yeah, you dropped off a lot of drama along the path, and now you're traveling light, lighter, right? And so this person right here learned a lot along the way. Yeah, when I say pack light, they got on shorts. <laughs> they got on shorts and a shirt. Look, and look at this right here, the Ace of Cups. Okay. This person you had a lot of deep feelings for, but they just had too much going on. They really, really had way too much going on. And you said, you know what? I'm going to focus all that attention on me. I'm going to focus that love on me. Right. Let's talk about the number 11 for just a second. Because like I said, it's a lot going on. Trying to help people to be illuminated from the inside so that you won't, you can bypass people's drama. This stuff. Some people cannot. I'm telling you, Taurus. Some people cannot exist without, they can't function without drama. I'm trying to tell y'all, it's like it's always something going on. And no matter how much <laughs> you try to be patient, they just got, I mean, the drama just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. So listen, let's talk about this master number 11. We're talking about master numbers. Y'all know what master numbers are. 11, 12, I mean, 12, 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, all the way up to 99, right? But in order to elevate yourself to the higher calling of a master number, you must intently listen to the inner calling, which always reveals your soul's chosen path, right? What that means is anything can be channeled through this opening of the number 11. Let me see if I can cut the cards, right? I'm all, I always get like more on one side than the other. So bear with me. Let's look at this as number 11, right? This is the number 11. Anything can come between, come in the, between this, be channeled through this opening. What I mean by that, this is supreme light, supreme darkness, good, evil, known, unknown, seen, unseen. You, you get my point? Divine masculine, divine feminine. This is all you, one person, right? But this is the both sides of you, right? Divine masculine, divine feminine, all those other opposites I just talked about. Anything, intuitive downloads can come through here. Um, a new invention can come through here. Information about people can come through here. This is you, all within you. You have everything in, in you, within you, to, to already figure it out, right? So when you think about the number 11, the number 11 symbolizes light. It's just that simple. It symbolizes light. It exposes everything, both in us and outside of us, right? So as you illuminate as an 11, as you, uh, as you, as an 11, you illuminate the truth, the absolute truth, not your truth or their truth, but the truth, right? Yes. Yep. So prepare. So, um, like I said, to prepare to channel for what is your highest good, it is initially very important for you to discover your inner teacher like are you listening to that inner voice within you are you listening to the god in you like i said for you all as very logical signs it has to be like a big boulder has to show you like shoot what okay i wasn't paying attention so something actually big has to happen for it to finally say okay all right i mean then you sit back and you listen and you're like okay well i did see all the signs but i didn't want to believe that this person was really this way yeah, mm -hmm. and this particular spread of cards, this person had to really burn you to see, wow, they really didn't have my best interest at heart. But guess what, Taurus? People have been telling you for years. <laughs> People have been telling you for years, Taurus, that this person just, mm, mm -mm, leave them alone. Just leave them alone. 
So yeah, let's see what else the rest of the cards have to say. But yeah, that's the number 11. 11, when you think about the number 11, you see the number 11, 11 in whatever form, 111, 11, 11, a string of ones, you know, that's light. That's light. Yeah, light. Light, light, light exposes the darkness within and around us. So you can take these blindfolds off. Your ancestors are watching over you saying, listen, you don't have to wear these blindfolds. We got you. We got your back. Step into, step into the vibration of the number 11 so you can see everything. So you don't have to take as long to walk away from drama. Drama and chaos and confusion. Now you're in a state of, um, you're in a posture of gratitude, Taurus. Because you're like, wow, I got a chance to really see everything for what it really is. I am really, really grateful. Yeah, I'm just really grateful. Yeah. Here we have the four of pentacles. A lot of you all will be traveling because you're starting to be more um, conservative when it comes to your money, when it comes to your money. And so because you're balancing out your energy and because you've taken action, of course, people are going to be drawn to you. A lot of people are going to be drawn to you. They're going to be drawn to your stability, Taurus. But again, you got to be able to step back and discern who should have access to me and who shouldn't have access to me so now you're not just going to be nurturing any kind of energy a lot of you all are going to be traveling and saying you know what i need to take a trip <laughs> I, I need to take a trip so i can clear my mind because i've been through a lot look how this you, yeah the person was a, just a one big headache for you but again hear your ancestors they all around you whispering in your ear saying leave that person alone you all are not compatible you're not on the same frequency look at the bird telling <laughs> <laughs> the bird is a snitch. <laughs> the bird is telling everything. But again, <clears throat> our ancestors come in many different forms. It can come in the form of a dream, like a spirit can be hovering over your room where you just feel like all of a sudden, why am I thinking about 